Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I just have to show you how to make this. Now when I've seen these a lot and they always bring back memories for me, I remember my mum making these. I had one of these. It was knitted though. I had one of these and it was in, I think it was a pale lemon. It was quite a light colour. It <laughs> When you're a kid in the 60s, uh, it could have actually just been white and it was just well used. <laughs> but um, I'm sure it was in pale lemon yarn and I remember wrapping my doll up in these and putting them in the pram and pushing them around. And these were very, very popular in the 60s. Now, my mum called these box flower blankets. She was making these almost right up until before she passed away. This is such a popular, popular design. And this was reshown, let's see, reshown, but these were these blankets were sometimes featured in a programme called Call the Midwife in the UK. It was produced in the UK and it was about midwives um, doing home births and things like that in the, the 60s and I was born in the 60s I was born in 1962 and I remember these when I was like from three four five six years old a bit older and my mum used to knit these and she used to knit them for other people in the village as well and I think she even got paid for it. She was excellent at doing knitting and crochet. So I am going to show you how to do this. This is a Call the Midwife inspired baby blanket. But to me, it will always be known as a flower box blanket because it's a little box with a flower in the middle and that's what my mum called us my mum called us a flower box blanket now they're really quick to make you might not think so you can do as many blocks of the flower as you like you can do it as high as you like as long now what I'm going to explain each block from here to the end here is 17 stitches. Each block is 17 stitches and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows high. Now your seventh row from this block makes your first row from to that block, if you can see what I mean. In between each block, you've got these dividers and I'm just going to call them ladders. You've got this little ladder that runs all the way up it runs across the way as well. So you can make as many blocks as you like as long as you use 17 stitches. 17 stitches for each block and then you have to add 7 extra stitches to your chain. The 7 extra stitches makes up this first block. It's your stitches that will go around that you skip you chain into your seventh stitch. So these six stitches that are here make up this block. The seventh stitch of those extra ones makes this last treble crochet. You can't see it in there because I've got my border on. It makes that last treble crochet, crochet to complete your blanket. So it doesn't matter how many blocks of 17 that you do, you need to add seven extra stitches to do this square and that one last treble crochet on that end. Really simple. I don't want to overcomplicate this. So you can just do your big long chain, sets of 17, and add seven extra stitches. So the yarn I use for this is a paint box simply Aran. Now I don't have a label, <laughs> I didn't keep the label and I used two balls of yarn for this. Now my blanket, my, my little pram blanket is one, two, three, four, it's five blocks wide and it's one, two, 
three, four, five, six. I did seven, eight, I did nine high. It's five wide and nine high. You can make this as big as you like. It crochets up quite quickly. So three balls of yarn, three 100 gram balls of yarn is going to get you a decent size blanket. Two for all of this, for most of this, and then I done my edge. I'll show you how to do the edge. I did treble crochet, I did one round all around my blanket, I did treble crochets, I did some V stitches, and then I done a fan, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But the border will be on a different video. It's going to make the video too long. So the main body of the blanket will be on this video and then I will do the border video and there'll be a little link to go and do the border on your blanket. You can do the border any way you want, by the way, but I'm going to show you how I did my little shell and my V-stitch on it. That's the most sort of popular border for this type of blanket. It's treble crochet and V stitch with a shell. So I'm going to get on with this and I'm going to show you how to make this really beautiful, call the midwife inspired flower box blanket. I'm still going to call it a flower box blanket because that's what my mum called it, a flower box blanket. So for my sample, I'm going to use this, I'll come down a little bit. I'm going to use this paint box yarn and it says Simply Aran. Uh, it's beautiful. It is so soft. They make beautiful blankets, this paint box yarn. And that's what I, that's the brand that I, I already showed you the white one, remember. So this time I'm going to use this pink and this one's called Bubblegum. It's a bubblegum pink, this one. Its colour number is... Two, five, is zero. That's a two, a five, and a zero. That's the colour number, and it's bubble gum. It's beautiful. And once again, thank you very much to Dee, who donated this paint box yarn to me. It's beautiful, this one. This is an Aaron one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do my chain. If you want to do this 60s style called the midwife blanket for a great big bed, it's 17 stitches plus 7. 17 as many times as you like and then add 7. You might get lost if you're doing a big blanket and I'm going to show you how to correct your stitch count or so that you don't even need to do a stitch count. Chain your chain for as long as you think that you're wanting your blanket. I'm going to leave a tail, a little extra tail, because uh, I might need 15, so I might need 10 stitches, I might need 8 stitches. So I'm going to leave a tail so that I can make more stitches if I lose my count. And this is what you do if you're doing a big chain count or you don't want to worry about a chain count, leave a good size tail. Then you can make extra stitches in your chain with this tail when you do your foundation row and if you don't have enough stitches, you can use the chain to add more. So I'm going to do a slip knot. You do your slip knot whatever way you want. And I'm going to chain 41. I might just chain. I'm going to chain and I'm going to show you what to do if I don't have enough. So I'm going to do my chain. I'm just doing a sample, remember, for this blanket. So that's one, two, three. Don't do your chain too tight. You don't want your blanket to go like that on the bottom. So don't do your chain too tight. What we're going to do is do not count the stitch on the hook. Uh -uh, don't count that one. We're going to count seven stitches in the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
Into that seven stitch, we're going to put a UK treble crochet. Now, those six stitches that we missed will make our first box on our blanket. I'll show you that. So those six stitches will make this first box in your blanket. It's going to, it's round that way. There we go. I do that all the time, have them upside down. So those six that we missed are going to make this first box. Then we need eight treble crochets, a UK treble crochet. We need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to make eight and then we're going to chain two, skip two and do one more. And that will be the length for one of our flower blocks. So what we're going to do now into the seventh stitch, we're going to do a UK treble crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over and go through your stitch. Pull your yarn through. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two. So that makes your first box. And we've got one treble crochet. You're going to chain one. Skip one stitch and treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one and treble crochet into the next stitch. You're going to do that until you have eight treble crochets. Don't count that. So that's one, two and three. We need eight. So chain one, skip one and treble crochet. Chain one, skip one, and that's got one in it, treble crochet. So if you've got your yarn and your hook, and you can work along with me. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Chain one, skip one, and treble crochet. That's six. Chain one, skip one, and treble crochet. Seven, chain one, make sure I've got the stitch there, skip one and treble crochet. So that's eight. So we have, put that down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Chain two, that's one block done. Chain two, one and two. Skip two, one, two and treble crochet into the next stitch. So that is one complete block. As you saw in the blanket, you've got the ladder that runs up the edge and you've got a ladder that runs all the way up that splits up each of your blocks, your flower block. So that's me got one done. Now we need to chain one. We're going to count that as our first treble crochet. Skip one and do a treble crochet. Chain one, skip one and treble crochet. You're going to do that all the way along your chain. Chain one, skip one, and treble crochet until you have another eight treble crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain one. Oops, I didn't skip my stitch. That's five. Six. Chain one. Seven. Count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain one, skip one and treble crochet. Now you're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to skip two, one, two, and do a treble crochet into the end of your chain. Now, 
if you didn't have enough stitches, if you're doing a great big long length, what you can do with your tail is, this is my tail, remember we left a long tail, if you've done a great big long length, you can, and you don't have enough stitches, pull that stitch up, so you'll take your hook, and you're going to go into the bottom of your slip knot like that. And you're going to make yourself some more stitches. So if you just had five stitches left and you didn't have enough to do another block, you will just use that extra long tail that you had and do some more stitches. Gain over and just do your chains. One, two, three, four. You can do extra chains with your tail. There we go, and just pull it through like that. So if you were doing all your blocks and you had one block short or you had stitches short, just use your tail to make more chain stitches. So you don't even need to really worry about a chain count. Chain one, skip one, and treble crochet until you finish your block. Chain one, skip one, and treble crochet. So that's the way you can do this without a stitch count. You just do your big chain and if you run out and you don't have enough, add some stitches in with the tail. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, chain one, seven, chain one and this is my eighth treble crochet we'll count them and check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten chain two one two skip two and that's the end of our block now if you find out you've got too many stitches all you need to do is just pick them out Pick them out one at a time if you've got too many. Just pick it out like that. And just pull your tail through. Just pull it through and lock it. So you can pick stitches out if you've got too many. And you can use the tail to add stitches in if you don't have enough. Now what we're going to do. We're going to chain three, one two three and turn your work so we're going to do one more because we need four it needs to be our treble crochet and one stitch to get over to here and this is going to be our next little square block so you're going to do a treble crochet into the top of this treble crochet here And that makes your little ladder square. You have that running right up the blanket. Now what we're going to do is we need 15 treble crochets all along here because our next because your next row is 15 treble crochets. You're going to, we've already done that one above here. We're going to put one in that chain one space. Do you remember we did chain one and another treble crochet? We're going to put a treble crochet into that chain space. One above this one, one into the chain space, one above this one and one into the next. We're going into the top of the stitches. So we're going into the top of the stitches and we should have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that's the next part of your pattern. So into the top of your chain, there's all your stitches. So we're going to, that's your first one. 
So we're going into this next chain space, not the chain space, into the top of the chain. So that's two, into the top of this treble crochet is three, into the next stitch, four, into the top of that treble crochet, it's five, into the next stitch. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, and your last one in the top of that treble crochet. And that is fifteen. So that completes that little part of the block. You're going to chain two because we need that ladder to separate each block. So chain two, one, two, and treble crochet into the top of this treble crochet here. And you'll put another 15 in, one into each of the stitches, one into the stitch there, one above the treble crochet, one into that stitch, one into the treble crochet, till you get to your next chain space. So that should be 15. Chain two and then treble crochet into the top of this one and do another 15 and then you will chain two and treble crochet into the top of that last treble crochet. So you do that, you do that all along your chain and I'll get you when we're nearly at the end. So that's 15 treble crochets you should have in these 15 stitches along here. So I'm going to leave my blanket here and instead of me keep picking it up and putting it down, picking it up, putting it down. Now, you might see clearly now that I've got my two rows of treble crochet and I've got V-stitches and a fan. I'll show you that once I've finished this sample. I'll show you how to do that border that's on this blanket. So with mine, I've got my last 15 done. I've done my square to separate the blocks. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to count two stitches and do a treble crochet into the top here. So one, two, and do a treble crochet. We're going to chain four and turn. One, two, three, four and turn. Now that's your treble crochet plus one that's going to make your little box here. We're going to do one treble crochet into the top of this one here. So yarn over and we're going into the top of this treble crochet. It's in there. Make sure you don't go into your chain two. Make sure it's the treble crochet that you're going into. So that is going to be a little block that runs up here. So that's my little block. Okay. So these blocks, they are quite big. They don't, it's because it's further down. They're, they don't look so big. See, it is the same size as the blocks that are there. So we're going to do six treble crochet, skip three, chain three, and then another six treble crochet. So that's one. So treble crochet into the next stitch. That's two. The next one is three. 
the next one four five and six so that's one two three four five six chain three one two three skip three one two three then treble crochet into the next six stitches one treble crochet into the next six stitches One, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain two, one, two. Skip that chain two there. And you're going to do the next block. So this is what we have here. This is the first part of your little chain that's there. So that's that area there. So that's where we are. Perfect. Look at that. So we're chain two, skip two, and over here we're going to do six treble crochets. It's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip three, one, two, three, and do six more treble crochets. Now you can pause the video and catch up if you're crocheting along with me. Even if you're doing more blocks than I am, just pause the video and do your work and come back and watch another bit. Pause the video, do your work and you can come back to it. So I've done my chain three, skip three, one, two, three and we're going to do six treble crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to move over to the, the next block. Chain two, one, two. You can clearly see where your, your ladder's going to be. And treble crochet into the next six. Skip three, chain three, and six treble crochets. Then you'll do your two chain and do one treble crochet into the top here. Skip two, one, two, and do a treble crochet into that third stitch. And that makes your ladder space for there. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and turn. So we're going to do four treble crochets. So that's one, two, three. And four. So you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And into the third chain of this space, into the third chain, turn your chain round, you're going to do a double crochet. Just go into that chain and do a double crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to skip two treble crochets. Skip that one, skip that one, and we're going to do four treble crochets across the top of this. So it's Chain three 
into the middle stitch in that chain of three, you'll do a double crochet into the stitch, not into the space, into the stitch. Then you're going to chain three, you're going to skip two treble crochets and do a treble crochet above the next four. So skip two treble crochets, one, two, and you're going to do four treble crochets along one, two, three, and four. Now what that's done is it's made your two little holes. See your two little holes here? It's made those. Now they look bigger because I'm up here in your face. But when it's down there, see, it's quite they're quite small when it's down there. So this is what we're doing. This row here. So we're at our ladder. So we're going to chain two. One, two. Then we're going to do, again, you're going to do your four treble crochets. We're going to do the next block. So it's four treble crochets. One, two, three, and four. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip these two treble crochets and you're going to put a double crochet into the middle stitch in that chain of three. One, two, three. You're going into the second one. Put a double crochet into the stitch. Not into the space, into the stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two treble crochets and then do four treble crochets in those four stitches. Put one in above each stitch. Yarn over, skip two trebles and we're going to do four treble crochet. That's one, two, three and four and four. Now we're at our ladder that separates our blocks. Chain two, one, two. And we're going to do four treble crochets. One, two, three, four. So we've done a chain of two for our ladder and we're going to do four treble crochets of the next block. One, two, three and four. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two treble crochets, skip those two and into the second chain of that three you're going to put a double crochet. If you're in the USA this is a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip two treble crochets and then put one into the next four. Skip those two and put one into the next four treble crochets. One, two, three and four. To chain two, <laughs> remember you chain two and skip two stitches 
and do your treble. Chain four, one, two, three, four and turn. Now what you're going to do, we're on this row. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're repeating this row here. What I'm going to suggest is, as you do one block, if you do one block, you can keep it to the side and that will be your pattern. You don't need a paper pattern. If you do one block as a sample and then that way you'll know what your blocks are going to be, what your stitches and your chains are, if you do just one as a follow along. So we're going to do six treble crochets. We're going to use the four treble crochets that are here and we're going to use, put two into this chain that's here. So into the top of your treble crochet that's here Move that over a little bit. So into the top of this treble crochet, just put another treble crochet in. That's one. To the next stitch, that's two. Into the next stitch, that's three. The next stitch, that's four. Now in this chain, we'll have a chain of three here. We're going to put a treble crochet into the first stitch and a treble crochet into the second stitch. We're going to use two stitches from this chain. So yarn over and go into that stitch and do a treble crochet. Yarn over and go into the next stitch. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, three. Skip your double, skip one stitch, and we're going to use the last two stitches of that chain and these four trebles to make our six. So skip that double crochet there, skip the next stitch, and into the last two stitches of that chain of three, you're going to put a treble crochet and a treble crochet. So one into that stitch, a treble crochet into the next stitch in that chain, and then we're going to put one on top of these four treble crochets. So one treble crochet into this one, one into the next one, that's two, into that one, and into that one. That makes six all together. So we've got six treble crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is making that. I know up here it looks really big, <laughs> but it's not. It's not. Once it goes down to where it's supposed to be, that's what you're doing. So we're going to do that all along your chain or all along your blocks. Chain two, one, two, because we're at that ladder. We're at that space that's splitting their blocks up. You're going to do six treble crochets. One, two, oops, three, four, and we're going to use two stitches out of that chain to make our six. So one into that first stitch in the chain. And one into the second stitch in that chain. 
Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip. So you'll have a stitch there. Skip that stitch. Skip that double crochet. Skip the next stitch. So into the last two stitches on that little chain, you're going to put one treble crochet each into those two stitches in that chain. That's one and two. And then one above your four trebles that are left. That makes six. One, two, three, some more yarn, and one into that last treble there, and that's what you've got. You've got your next little flower. Chain two, one, two, because you're at your little ladder space. And we're going to do the same for the last block. Two, three, four. And I'm going to put a treble crochet into the top here. And then 15, we're going to have 15 all the way across. And we're going to use the three chain stitches here to make a treble. We'll put a treble into each of these stitches and we should have 15. So one into the top of this stitch here, that's one, two, three, Four, five, six. Now you're going to put one into each of these stitches in this chain of three. So that's one, two, and three. Then you put one into the top of here and that should give you 15. Chain two and skip over to here. Do one above all of these treble crochets, one into your chain three, one stitch, one treble into each of these stitches in this chain of three and along there and that will give you your 15 chain two and do another 15 and you'll put one into each of this chain of three and that makes up your 15 again chain two and one into the third stitch in this chain so we'll get that done and i'll come back and show you what to do next so i've done my row adding my three treble crochets to those three chain stitches make sure it's the stitch you use and not the space so i'm right at the end i'm going to chain two one two skip two of these stitches and go into the third one on this chain oops put my yarn over first and there we go and this is what we've got it's so pretty this blanket it's so pretty and it just so reminds me of me and my sisters when we were kids because we had these little blankets now look at this this one just fits over the top of that one and that is what we've done now to finish your block we're going to do a treble crochet chain one, miss a stitch, treble crochet, chain one, miss a stitch to make these little holes. When we get to the ladder space, we'll still be doing chain two 
and skipping over this little ladder because your little ladder, I'll move that out of the way, your little ladder is running right up and that is going to finish your block. Now once we've done this last row, all you'll do is keep repeating from this row here. You'll repeat this row, this one, that's two, three, four and five. And then your holes, your little perforated row, you'll repeat that. That's what you'll keep repeating over and over and over until your blanket is as tall as you want it. And you'll finish on a, a row with holes, your little perforated row, that's how you finish. So that's what the top of your blanket will be like. You'll finish the top of your blanket like that. So you'll just keep doing all your blanket, your blocks, block after block, until it's as big as you want it. I'll show you how to do this last row of your block. We're going to chain four, one, two, three and four. I'll move that out of the way. Turn your work and then you're going to go into the top of this treble crochet. Go into there. Chain one, skip a stitch and treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch and treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, treble crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch and then treble crochet. Chain, skip, treble. Chain, skip, treble. Chain, skip and treble crochet into the top of that one of your block and that's what you get your little perforations run along and that's your block complete now what you'll do with your next row is you'll rewind this video and you will copy these five rows one two three four five and that one six you'll keep repeating these six rows until your blanket is as big as you want it so when you get to your ladder you're going to chain two one and two and treble crochet into that stitch there you'll chain one skip one and treble crochet so it's chain, skip and treble crochet. Chain, skip and treble crochet. All the way along to your next ladder space. So now you're at your ladder, we're going to chain two, one and two. I know I'm calling it a ladder, but it's the easiest way to explain it. So into the next treble, chain one, skip a stitch and treble crochet. Chain one, skip one and treble. Chain, skip, treble. Chain, skip, treble. Now, the only reason this is taking a little bit longer is because I'm showing you what to do. If I was doing this, it is quite quick. Chain one, skip a stitch and treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one and treble crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch and treble into your last stitch. So you're going to chain two, one, two, skip two stitches in that chain and put a treble crochet into the third stitch in that chain that's there. 
and that is your block complete. Look at that, look how pretty that bubblegum pink is. And don't worry if it's just slightly askew, it's because we've been squishing it when I've been holding it. Now I did three blocks, you do as many blocks as you want. So the easiest way to do it without a written pattern, I don't have a written pattern, I don't have this written down at all, then all you do is rewind the video to this row, to the row of 15 treble crochets, rewind the video and follow along again and then rewind it to the 15 again and do your next panel. So you'll do your next block, then your next block, then your next block after that. So in the next video, I'll show you how to do this border. So you go ahead and you do the rest of your panels. Do your, do your boxes and do it in your panel and work up. And then come to the next video and I'll show you how to do this border. It's because it's too long. It's too long to add it in and this video is going to be like an hour and a half long. That's too long to sit through. <laughs> it's too long. So thank you very much for watching. I love this. It's so reminiscent from when I was a child. Because again, I was born in 1962 and this is so reminiscent of the blankets that we had. We had small dolly size for our prams when we were children. We had ones that were maybe for our older sisters when they were born and they were a bit thing. We, we had them for wrapping our dolls up and lots and lots of the children in my era had these blankets wrapped up. You were wrapped up in them as babies. They were done for dolls, prams. They're so quick as well and the only reason the video is taking a little bit longer is because I've been explaining what to do. Once you've made one of these you will make these in all different colours. I mean this yarn, this paint box yarn actually says to use a five millimeter hook but I crochet slack you can see that I, my tension is quite slack so I drop to a 4.5 and look at this for a 4.5 it's still pretty nice it's really nice even if I went down to a size 4 it would be a little bit more compact so just use the hook for your yarn. If you're like me and your tension's too slack, then just drop down a size. I drop down one half size on my crochet hook. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Dee for my donation when she sent me this yarn. So thank you very much, Dee. I really appreciate it. And look, this is what I did with the white paint box, Aaron. And this is I'm doing my sample in the pink. I'll do a little pram size, a dolly pram size in the pink. I'll do a few more blocks. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please just click on that subscribe button. And if you click on the bell icon, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. And if you want to financially help my channel, if, if I was to meet you down in the street or in the town centre and you took me for a coffee and you bought me a cake and it came to about four ninety nine once a month if you did that, if you click on that join button, there's a button down there, a blue button that says join, you do a monthly donation of four ninety nine. And you're basically buying me a cup of coffee and a cake every morning, every month, once a month. Or it's enough to buy me a couple of balls of yarn every month. So if you want to donate to my channel, uh, if you want to donate to my channel, then click on that join button. It'll let you sign up to my channel and then that way you can help me keep my channel running. But you don't have to do that. You can subscribe for free. If you click the subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to my channel and get notifications 
when I put up another video. But if you want to give me a little helping hand every month, then just click on the join button. So I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate the help. And I love the donations. This is brilliant. I really love all the donations of yarn to help my channel. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit. I'll bring that up so you can see my blanket a little bit better. I'll move that out of the way and look at that. That is so pretty. That is beautiful. This blanket is beautiful. I'll move that there like that. And just remember, in the next video, I'll tell you how to do this border. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.